Hey guys, this is Catherine with Oracle Intuitions. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is your weekly energy reading for June 14th to the 21st. So we're taking a look into the energies of the mind, body and spirit as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. But remember that time is irrelevant in the spirit world. So these could be energies of things that could possibly, you know, be coming. They could be current energies or they could be a validation from spirit of something that you've just recently went through. I wanted to get back into where I'm doing the Monday to Thursday readings with a element for each day. So Mondays are going to be our earth signs, which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Tuesdays are going to be our water signs with Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer. Wednesdays are going to be our air signs with Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And Thursdays are our are, are, are fire signs with Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Uh, now, if you're seeking a personal reading, please contact me at oracleintuitions.com or you can go to my Facebook page at Oracle Intuitions or my Instagram page at Oracle underscore uh, Intuitions. Also, make sure that you subscribe and click like on this video. If you subscribe, uh, we actually do free weekly readings on my channel on Wednesdays. So these are for our subscribers. Now we do go by donation uh, as well, okay? So usually the donations, people that have donated, we do you know, look into their reading first, but we also have a lottery for our subscribers. And this is where you can submit a question and my co-host and I, we answer it on the air. So this is a live, you know, uh, this is a live mini reading. Also on Sunday, and this is, sorry, I should tell you, six o'clock mountain time is when we do the live mini readings, all right? But on Sundays, we also do a live interview show with special guests that have a spiritual element. So these could be psychics, tarot readers, paranormal investigators, anybody that has a spiritual connection. And these are at two o'clock on Sundays. So make sure that, again, click subscribe, click like, share the video if this has resonated with you. We look forward to seeing you, you know, throughout the week and also, um, you know, on our live shows. So today for this particular reading, we're going to be using the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. This is by Colette Baron reed We're also going to be using the Oracle of uh, Oracle of the Seven Energies, again by Colette Baron reed We're going to be using the Wisdom Angel Tarot by Radley Valentine. And we're going to be using the Fortune Reading Cards. Unfortunately, I do not know who created them. Um, Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing week. Take care. Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for June 14th to the 21st. We're taking a look into the energies of the mind, body, and spirit. Uh, please remember that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone, but I do suggest that you take a look into your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the week ahead as they come out as well. All right, and these will all be up by Thursday. So. Uh, also remember that these are energies that they could be going into the week ahead they could be current energies or some sort of validation from spirit of past energies as well all right recent past usually so let's take a look and see what is coming through for capricorn this week okay, capricorn One more. All right. Capricorn. So for the mind, we have the Seven of Swords, a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution to be aware of others' actions. A material loss, make sure you are being honest with yourself and embarrassing secrets. So this um, this is this within the mental space, okay? This could be where your mind is at this moment. We also have the Queen of Swords. So brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations of people or people that are no longer serve you seeing the humor in different difficult situations focusing on career divorced or unmarried individuals so this could be some sort of external element 
And from spirit, we also have the Ten of Cups, a happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successful and people you can trust. All right, so what I'm really getting here, Capricorn, is you may have recently gone through some sort of situation, perhaps with a, you know, a loved one or maybe perhaps within a relationship of some sort. This even could be some sort of, um, you know, mental energy within yourself, but it almost feels as though you're in this place of perhaps wondering if, th if there's an honesty coming through either from yourself or from somebody else all right it really feels like the mind and the body here are really working together it really feels like there's an element of mistrust in some way now this could be towards a current partner maybe perhaps again you know towards some sort of situation take it as it resonates with you um I feel like what spirit is saying here it almost feels as though okay for for many of you what I'm really getting here is that within your mind you're in a place of mistrust you're wondering if somebody's been honest with you there may be this this element coming through here where you're you know you're doubting somebody's words or maybe perhaps you're not sure if they've been truthful with you maybe perhaps you know you're seeing red flags within a particular situation and what spirit is asking of you at this point in order to bring harmony towards the situation there needs to be complete honesty now whether that honesty was within yourself or whether this is you speaking towards somebody i feel like this is not the time to hold back words now this doesn't mean to get evil or mean or nasty with your words okay it's being honest from the heart a lot of times our first instinct is to jump onto a situation either just cut it out or you know say this queen of swords she always reminds me of like from alice in wonderland off with her heads like i'm just not dealing with it i'm just cutting the situation but i'm really getting from spirit is that there needs to be some sort of honest communication now this could be coming from somebody else this could be coming from you what i'm really also on I'm, I'm getting from spirit is i i'm really feeling here that a lot of things could be and this isn't going to resonate for everybody so again take it as it resonates could be within your mind okay maybe perhaps somebody did something to you that put you into this place of you know mistrusting them but spirit is also saying are you seeing the big picture is it just your perspective is this coming in from past relationships in some way is this coming from somebody's um maybe even past behavior all right but it really feels like spirit is trying to bring together some sort of harmony for you okay whether this is going to be an individual harmony or whether this is harmony again within some sort of partnership or relationship I feel like spirit is really saying to you take another look take another perspective or are you holding on to grudges in some way now here's the thing you know sometimes people do us dirty right but how are they coming to you? Are they coming to you with a genuine honesty of apology or a genuine honesty of saying, look at, I know I screwed up. Let me fix this. Let me, you know, let's work together. Let's have this honest communication. So this is what I'm getting from spirit at this moment. They're just saying, look at, you know what? If you feel like cutting them off, you can cut them off you know that's completely your choice but be honest with yourself be really honest with your inner self and asking ask yourself am i doing this because of some sort of past perspective or i'm doing it simply because of the fact that you know this this person doesn't deserve any more of my time or my energy but they're asking you to really come through with this a genuine authenticity of the situation all right that's what i'm really getting at this moment do we need to hold on to a grudge has somebody been trying to you know make things better in some sort of situation and and if so can we trust them that they're, that they're doing this out of their heart okay that uh, you know they're doing it out of love or are they doing it simply because of the fact that they just want to make things better and then they're going to screw up again <laughs> right like this is but you have to take you know spirit is saying to you take some time because this this situation 
can have an element of harmony. Again, whether it's whether you walk away from somebody to bring that harmony or whether it's that you're open and have that honest communication to bring through that harmony in some way. All right. I feel like for those of you that are looking for a relationship, this is also what I'm getting from spirit is that, um, If you're looking for a relationship and you're focusing in on all of the red flags that somebody might bring to the table, some of those red flags might be, not be a true perspective, all right? A lot of times we get caught into the behaviors of other people from the past and we sit there and we go, well, you know, he didn't or she didn't do this or they didn't do that or they said this and this is from you know I heard that before in the past and I don't think I can judge this or I can I can have a, a relationship with this person like you're basically judging it all right and that's what I'm getting so that's where spirit I really feel is saying look at be honest are you dredging in past energies or are these energies that are truly being represented at this time all right, because that is the way to bring a harmony to ourselves is by looking at it with open, an open mind, okay, a clear heart, all right, a new perspective, a new outlook, all right, so clarification, we have the word Lord, it talks about communication, praise, and dishonesty, so um, now remember that, you know, when we have these words, they can, they can mean anything. And again, I did feel that, you know, that for some of you, you know, there could have either been dishonesty or you're looking at it, you know, from a viewpoint that this, you know, you're just looking for all of the red flags. All right. But again, it talks about that communication, especially with that queen of swords coming through. This has to be, there has to be some sort of honest communication, whether with yourself or with somebody. All right, a keeper of the scales, fairness and balance. There has to be a fairness and balance. So I feel like spirit is really clarifying here. There needs to be, you know, some sort of balance within the situation. You know, if somebody is coming to you genuinely and authentically with an apology, or maybe perhaps, you know, if it's somebody, you know, a new person and, and you're judging them according to the behaviors of somebody else, that's not being fair. That's not allowing a balance. That's not going to bring harmony in any way, right? We have to have that. We have to look at the situation as it is. We also have the Eagle King. Yeah, the big picture and angelic help. So look at the big picture. And I really feel like spirit is trying to, you know, get across this um, balance, this fairness, this open mindedness, this authenticity towards a situation. Is the situation genuine or is it being created in our mind in some way? What harmony do you want to see? Because if you're sitting there and you're in a place of, you know, always judging somebody or always being critical or, you know, whether it's towards yourself or other people, how are you going to create a harmony from that? And that's what spirit is trying to bring, bring forth. Look at the big picture. All right. Look at the big picture. If you're looking for this 10 of cups energy, you know, in the future, then start looking at the big picture and stop, you know, maybe perhaps being judgmental or maybe perhaps, you know, it's time to let go of the energies of the past in order to move forward. All right. So let's take a look at um, relationships and see what is coming through. Now, remember that relationships can be friends, family and co-workers. They do not need to be, uh, you know, romantic relationships. Just take them as they resonate for you at this time. So let's see what energies are coming through for Capricorn regarding relationships. Yeah, we have the dragonfly. I'm turning it upside down. Um, have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. So again, I, I really feel like have confidence. A lot of times when we're in a negative mind frame or we're being judgmental or um, we're holding a grudge, it is sometimes because of a lack of confidence. Okay. Uh, you know, it's about keeping our boundaries too, right? And if we have strong boundaries within our own personal core where we don't 
you know, we, we see things for as they are. That's a boundary, all right? We're, we're not letting things slip. It's kind of, a lot of people will get into relationships and they'll say, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to date somebody who, who drinks. Okay, great. Then don't drink anybody or don't date somebody who drinks. But then they'll be like, well, he just has a couple. Okay, but he just has a couple or it's only on weekends or she only does this, whatever it is. And then, and, and, and then they're like, well, it turned out that they were an alcoholic or it turned out that they were this or it turned out that they were that. But you let your boundary down. You said you didn't want to date anybody who, who does this and then you let them in. So, you know, that, that you know, is, is sort of a lack of confidence within yourself right and that's where you have to you know recognize that energy you have to recognize that and go you know um all right maybe maybe this has to do a little bit with me maybe i have to have confidence and move forward again renewal and connection to spirit listen to spirit listen to your own you know your own inner guidance your own intuition all right if something feels off then 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 take a look into it and ask yourself, why does this feel off? Is it because of past behavior or is it because of, you know, current behavior? All right. The key, new beginnings, directions and adventures. Wait for those ready to let go of the past. That's exactly it. You have to let go of the past in order to move forward. Have confidence. All right. We don't want to keep repeating the same cycle over and over and over again. And if that's what you're doing, then sometimes we have to take a look into yourself. This has nothing to do. Um, you know, the harsh reality is it has nothing to do with other people. Right. It's our own boundaries. It's our own, you know, lack of self-confidence in some way that we keep drawing, you know, towards the same situation. And that's where we have to have that strength and say, no, this is, this is not acceptable. This is what I want. And I'm going to move towards it because I want that pure and true harmony. We have the snake. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. But be careful. Be careful in, you know, as to what you're listening to again within yourself. Is it your intuition or is it something from the past? And that's what we have to really be aware of. You know, it's, I, you know, and again, like just as another example, a lot of times people will say, um, you know, my last boyfriends or my last girlfriends, you know, they, they, you know, I would call, you know, I wouldn't hear from them for days or weeks or whatever it was. And, you know, so this, this went on, right? And then we date somebody who's doing the same thing. And maybe what you need to do is have that honest and true communication with the person, right? And you say to them, look at what, what the hell is going on here? What is going on? How come? How come this is happening? And, you know, you can judge by your intuition whether to trust this person or not. And if they make some sort of changes towards showing you, you know, that they want you in their life, a lot of times people are truly busy right? And they can't, you know, be there every time you text or every time you call, or maybe they, you know, they're working on projects or they have family, you know, children or, you know, a, a big career, whatever it is. So they can't be there 24 seven. But again, are you judging in the past or are you judging with the current energy of something? All right. So use that intuition. Don't, don't look at the past and say, well, they must be doing this because of this. But also don't dismiss it and say, you know, oh, okay, well, you know, maybe they're just like this and they're not changing the behavior. That tells you something too. If somebody makes an effort to change their behavior, then that's something to be aware of. That's something that maybe will bring about a new beginning. All right. So let's get some clarification and see what is coming through. Clarification. Yeah, we got the Seven of Cups coming in. 
talks about make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options and addictions. And it's funny because we did talk about, you know, drinking or, you know, maybe perhaps some sort of other substance or something like that. But what I'm getting here is make a choice. Have confidence within your choice and start moving forward, you know, in a, in a more harmonious type of way. I really feel like for some of you, again, it's, it's, it's not trusting your intuition in some way. And I feel really feel like it's time to go into yourself and, and again, get the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture of something and ask yourself, what is it that I truly want? Well, I want this. So this is now what I'm going to do to, in order to gain that. All right. Four of cups, uh, failing to recognize a magical opportunity, missing the point, distractions of daily life, discontentment or boredom lost in your own world, time to wake up. So again, it really talks about, you know, we don't want to miss opportunities that are coming forth, whether it's, you know, the, the thing is, here's the thing, <laughs> you know, get ready for a lecture type of energy. I'm, no, I'm not going to go that deep, but when we're holding a grudge towards somebody and we're not allowing them to maybe perhaps make up for a past mistake or a past energy, if we're holding a grudge towards somebody new because of past energy, that can be a missed opportunity. It's not really a missed opportunity, you know, to heal ourselves and move forward towards a new beginning, but it's possibly a missed opportunity sorry, there's a lot of traffic outside, um, of gaining, you know, a, something beautiful and new that's that could be coming forth. All right. So this is something that you need to take a look at. Why am I holding on to this past negative energy? All right. It's time to let it go. Time to, you know, have follow my intuition, use my own intellectual resources, listen to my body listen to spirit it's time to let it go and move forth towards what i it's truly what i truly want and what i truly desire and we have the three of swords again great sadness that will heal with time let go of the past personal growth that comes from challenges healing misunderstandings and being there for those in need so again following the intuition and that you are being surrounded and guided by spirit at this time so if you're going through a particular challenge, I really feel that what Spirit is asking of you is to take a look at this challenge, especially if you're trying to create or manifest, or if you're trying to bring, bring forth a relationship, whether this is with yourself, somebody else, or with Spirit in general. Have faith that you are, you, you are being guided at this time. Follow that intuition. Be honest with your communication. Be authentic with what it is that you desire and what it is that you want to come forth. A lot of people jump into relationships because they feel that there's not going to be anybody else. Or they feel that, you know, I have to take what's just in front of me because maybe I'm unworthy or maybe, you know, what, whatever it is. And Spirit is saying, no, you don't. All right? But really look at the situation. Are you hanging on to a grudge? Or are you dismissing somebody? because of past behavior, whether it's within that person, whether it's within yourself, maybe it's just within circumstances, or are you being really honest and genuine and authentic with what it is that you desire? And we can bring this forth together by working as a team with spirit to bring that harmonious change through. All right. So let's get a closing message from spirit. And we're going to be using the, uh, Oracle of the seven energies. Now, um, I don't know all of these cards. This is one of those decks that I have had for a while, but I haven't used it a whole heck of a lot. And I may have to, you know, read from the book for, for some of these cards. So we're going to see what is coming through. I'm closing message for Capricorn from Spirit. Broken open broken open I love this because it's really I mean when you look at her it's like she's opening up not only opening up and releasing energies that are no longer needed but just energies in general you know about moving forward bringing about a new um a new abundance all right so let's take a look here and read what it says just gotta find 
the page, sorry, broken open. Yeah. These are situations in life when you see the value of loss, grief, and a broken heart, yet it's not the pain or loss itself that must be the focus of your attention here. Not even the story of what happened, the details surrounding what has brought you to your knees as, is as important as what results from the experience. Can you see that this situation has broken you wide open, enabling you to have an even greater capacity for love, compassion, empathy, and understanding. You cannot be the same person as before. The only way forward is to move through it without resistance or manipulation, without attempting to bargain with unseen forces, because none of your usual fallbacks can put you back together again. If you do fall prey to self-absorption or self-pity, uh, it will only make it harder to get to the next gradual phase leading to relief. Yet even if you are prolonging the inve in inevitable, you will get there eventually. The gift is in accepting who you've become as a consequence of integrating this difficult experience and allowing yourself to be more than you were. This wisdom comes at a high price, but the value of your experience of moving through and to the other side is unsurpassed. Love the new you, and that is the result of being broken open by life's challenges and lessons. Again, you know, it's very much, so it talks about the key concept, the gift of grief being shattered as a result of loss, the potential inherent um, in failure. So it, it really talks about, yes, you know, in the past, there's been some maybe crappy things that have happened, or maybe you're currently experiencing, you know, some sense of grief or some sort of sense of loss or, or betrayal in some way. But it's time to break that open. You know, don't stay into that energy of self-pity or absorption, or even just looking at the negative faults of the things. It's time to negative faults of people or things is what I meant to say. It's time to really move forward. It's time to break that open and time to take that step forward. All right. So Capricorn, I truly hope that this reading has helped. Um, if this reading has resonated, please click like, please share, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to watch us on Saturdays at six o'clock PM, where we do live mini readings and on Sundays at two o'clock PM, where we bring on, uh, where we have live interviews with people in the spiritual realm, like different types of people in spiritual, uh, you know, jobs or whatever it is. So thank you so much. Have an amazing week. Many blessings and take care.